Read the Bible with me. Romans chapter 1 verses 16 through 17 says, For I am not ashamed of the good news about Christ. It is the power of God at work, saving everyone who believes, the Jew first and also the Gentile. This good news tells us how God makes us right in his sight. This is accomplished from start to finish by faith. As the scripture says, it is through faith that a righteous person has life. Read the Bible with me. First Timothy chapter 2 verses 1 through 6 says, I urge you, first of all, to pray for all people. Ask God to help them. Intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and understand truth. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. This is the message God gave the world at just the right time. Read the Bible with me. Psalm 93 verses 1 through 5 says, The Lord is king. He is robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorial. You yourself are from the everlasting past. The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their pounding waves. But mightier than the violent raging of the seas, mightier than the breakers of the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. Your royal laws cannot be changed. Your reign, O Lord, is holy forever and ever. Read the Bible with me. Psalm 16, verses 7 through 11 says, I will bless the Lord who guides me. Even at night, my heart instructs me. I know the Lord is always with me. I will not be shaken, for he is right beside me. No wonder my heart is glad and I rejoice. My body rests in safety. For you will not leave my soul among the dead or allow your Holy One to rot in the grave. You will show me the way of life, granting me the joy of your presence and the pleasure of living with you forever. Read the Bible with me. Psalms 105 verses 1 through 5 says to give thanks to the Lord and proclaim his greatness. Let the whole world know what he has done. Sing to him. Yes, sing his praises. Tell everyone about his wonderful deeds. Exalt his holy name. Rejoice, you who worship the Lord. Search for the Lord and for his strength. Continually seek him. Remember the wonders he has performed. His miracles and the rulings he has given. Read the Bible with me. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3 verses 12 through 13 says that and may the lord make your love for one another and for all people grow and overflow just as our love for you overflows may he as a result make your hearts strong blameless and holy as you stand before god our father when our lord jesus comes again with all his holy people amen read the bible with me first chronicles chapter 16 verse 8 says to give thanks to the lord and proclaim his greatness let the whole world know what he has done in other words don't keep your thankfulness a secret read the bible with me psalm 59 verse 16 says but as for me i will sing about your power each morning i will sing with joy about your unfailing love for you have been my refuge a place of safety when i am in distress 